Bogo Indian Defense, Exchange Variation, 5.QXD2. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. The players battled pretty evently in the end game. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. nf3 develops toward the center, putting pressure on the e5 square and adding another defender to the d4 pawn. With bb4+, plus, the Bogo Indian defensive, a more strategic opening, aims to rapidly castle kingside and swap the dark squared bishop. bd2 stops the check and offers to exchange dark squared bishops. bxd2 plus captures the bishop on d2 and puts the king in check. qxd2 captures the bishop, removes the king from check and develops the queen. This hits in the middle and prevents the opponent from gaining ground. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. It is best. A powerful play. It is quite good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is excellent. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is the last book move. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. That's good. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. The game was almost evenly matched, but black is now worse. It is incorrect. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. Backs off. That's good. This disregards a more effective approach to link rooks. It is incorrect. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is quite good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. That's good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. This poses a threat to an open file and a rook. It is quite good. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. It is quite good. This challenges the opposing rook for control of the open file. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. It is incorrect. That's a decent move. That's good. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This enables the adversary to kick a rook. It is incorrect. This strikes a rival rook. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This misses a chance to contest the opponent's rook's possession of the open file. It is incorrect. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It is incorrect. This provides an equal exchange of parts. That's good. This exchange is fair. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. 
This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. This is the start of the end game and white is better. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This poses a threat to an outpost manned by a knight. It is ideal. It's all right. That's good. This enables the adversary to remove the king from the rear rank and activate it. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to move the king out of the rear rank and activate it. It is incorrect. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. This poses a fork piece threat. It is quite good. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This wastes a chance to protect a pawn that was being attacked. It is incorrect. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. The game was almost evenly matched, but black is now worse. It is incorrect. This provides a free pawn. It is incorrect. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Backs off. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. As a result, the adversary can take an open file containing a rook. It is incorrect. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. It is ideal. That is a regrettable error. It is incorrect. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This steps away from the checking rook. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. A pawn is therefore left defenseless. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to seize a free pawn. It is incorrect. That's a decent move. That's good. There was just one smart move to be made. It is incorrect. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. This ignores a more effective method for getting a rook to safety. It is incorrect. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is ideal. It's all right. That's good. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This positions the rook behind an enemy passed pawn, preventing it from pushing for promotion. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. Thus, a pawn is lost. It is a mistake. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. Although black lost their advantage, the game is still almost evenly matched. It is incorrect. This gives away a free pawn. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to defend a pawn that was under attack. It is a mistake. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. An opponent's passed pawn can't advance if a rook is positioned behind it. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. 
it is a great move. This prevents the adversary from moving a passed pawn toward promotion. It is ideal. This steps away from the checking rook. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. This enables the adversary to exchange blows. It is incorrect. This divides up parts by launching multiple attacks at once. It is ideal. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is quite good. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is excellent. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. The players battled pretty evently in the end game. This move puts the pawn on a safer square. It is best. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. The players battled pretty evently in the end game.